Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to teach your little ones numbers. Um, I am going to use some easy uh, activities which you can prepare them in home and easily uh, employ them in home. So for the first activity I'm using the number flashcards which you can make it really uh, easily in home from different color papers and then laminate them. You need mm, bean bags. If you don't have bean bags then you can use balls because in this game the cha the um, your child will throw ball or bean bags toward the number. In this game you can use the same number flashcards and spread them on the rock, on a floor, and if you want you can stick them with a blue tag and just ask your child to stamp on each number or jump on each number hey you can see the same number flashcards but some other resources for example magnets blue tag um, in this uh, activity it's not an activity but you can use it as activity you know you can use the these number flashcards and stick them on the wall with the help of blue tag velcro or uh, if you want to use them on a refrigerator then you have you need to use magnets uh, and it's really um, helpful for the sticking and they are available in different shapes and different colors from any you know, stationery shop you can buy these uh, and if you want to make this game more interesting you can use this shape uh, in this game they can touch the number now you can see a whiteboard and a, a pen a marker here you will use the whiteboard you will write a number number seven number one and simply you will ask your child to erase the number with their fingers or you can ask them to circle the number with the marker so it's also a good activity uh, and help the little ones to recognize the numbers uh, if you want to use uh, a chalkboard you can write the number with the chalk and then use a paintbrush dip it into the water and ask your child to erase the number with the uh, with the brush it's also a good activity and very good activity for hand and eye coordination development here you can see um, some counters, a stamp, and small magnets. For this activity, you can use anything like uh, beads, buttons, counters, uh, pebbles, and uh, marbles, anything. Um, so simply they will use and they will make the numbers. You can use even beans to make the numbers. And you can use stamps and sticker if you write the number on a paper. So it's also good activity, but please, during this activity, try to supervise your child because you're using very small objects uh, and they're hazard for them. And it can cause a big trouble for you and for the small child. So please try to supervise during this activity. Even in any activity, um, it's our uh, responsibility to supervise our little children okay now you can see lollipop sticks and an envelopes you can make these envelopes in home uh, while using different color uh, plain paper and just write the numbers on the top um, you can make this more interesting while using different color for example pink for the girls and blue for the boys and just use the lollipop sticks popsicles and write the numbers and in this game they will drop the numbers in each envelope if you want you can buy a plain envelopes from any stationery shop and use it for this activity now you can see a pegboard uh, this pegboard is without writing like this uh, for this activity i just wrote this number one uh, because uh, i want to uh, show you how to use this pegboard this pegboard you can use it for so many activities like for example number uh, recognition uh, hand and eye coordination skills fair, fine motor skill development and for the letter recognitions for the shape recognition simply you need a 
uh, marker but try to use um, not permanent marker because if you use permanent marker then it would be really difficult for you to clean this uh, uh, pegboard so in this activity they will use pegs to make the number Can you see? It's a really good activity and it's a, this pegboard, you can use it for so many activities. If you don't have, then you can use uh, the alternative for this. You can use uh, um, these, which is available from any shop. Uh, just make them uh, write the number and just make a small uh, hole. So they can use anything like cocky birds, anything to do this activity. Um, you can use this A1 for so many activities um, while writing the numbers and painting and these things. For this activity, I'm using a handmade number mat. Can you see? You can make one for your child and you can use it for so many activities. And I'm using uh, bottle lids. I just wrote the numbers with a permanent marker and it's a good way to help your child to recognize the number. It's an engaging activity. You can use this board for so many activities. For example, you can use a marker and ask your child to circle a number. You, if you don't want to use the marker, you can simply ask a child to uh, trace the number. And now you can see um, sensory activity. Uh, and for this activity, I'm using play doh mats. Uh, you can download these from Twinkle and then laminate them. Uh, if you don't have a laminate machine, you can take them to a shop and they can laminate it for you. You can use these uh, mats for uh, for any other activities as well. For example, I showed you earlier, you can use it for this activity as well. Um, but here we are using it for Play-Doh. So you simply buy a Play-Doh from a shop and then they will make numbers with a Play-Doh. You can make Play-Doh in home as well. It's so easy. Uh, I think my next video will be about these things, how to make these resources for your little ones in home uh, instead of buying them from any shop. Especially nowadays, uh, we are struggling with so many things because the shops are closed. Hopefully, the situation will be um, soon better and we can go to any shop and buy these things easily. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and like my uh, video today's video and please don't forget to share it and subscribe my channel so see you next time take care stay blessed